what's up there guys so as you can see the uh, PC 98 that I made a video about very very long time ago has been cleaned up properly and set up after a uh, very long learning process and has found its way right here in my little retro PC setup uh, I have the uh, FM Towns there, the X68000 up here. Now this is a very awkward place for it to be, but you know, I'm gonna come up with a better solution for this later, and I'll preferably I, I I would put it like in this console here where I have uh, where I have room to put uh, various things. But unfortunately, you know, this thing is already filled up with. Uh, current generation consoles which are hooked up to my uh, flat screen over there so there's really not much room in there but in the future I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna come up with a much more aesthetically pleasing little corner for my uh, Japanese PCs uh, I have a very specific table in mind for that unfortunately it's a very rare model it's a Bang & Olufsen uh, thing it, it very rarely shows up for sale and when it does it's usually in a city very long way so I'm waiting for one to show up here in my city uh, that I can buy for relatively cheap hopefully in a, on an okay condition because those tables I think are at least 10 15 years old anyway it's been long enough and I think uh, I owe it to you guys to to make an update video for the uh, to, to just let you uh, like uh, see uh, j just give a demonstration of the uh, of the PC 98 the uh, the uh, the games available the uh, the challenges I had to go through to set it up and and stuff like that so I'm ready to do that and uh, that is the purpose of this video so let's get started after a very long learning process I finally figured out how to install several versions of DOS on my PC98 machine. As you can see here, when I boot the machine, I get the uh, option here to choose between a DOS version 5 and 6.2. Now I've subsequently found out that uh, the ability to choose between these two different versions will probably not be relevant at all. Uh, so I I'm going to be using just mainly 6.2. Now, what I really wanted to do was to have uh, DOS version 3 and DOS version 6.2. Uh, that would be the most useful because there are some version, there are some games that will only work uh, on DOS version 3. Now, unfortunately, uh, I was not able to make a, a multi-boot uh, multi system. Uh, for DOS 3 and 6.2 for the simple reason that the hard drive that I'm using in this machine currently I cannot install DOS 3 on it because it is simply too large now the hard drive that this machine originally came with was a 500 megabytes and that hard drive was actually in the shipment but the hard drive that was actually in the machine was a upgraded one which was I think two gigabytes or two and a half something like that too big for DOS 3 but the 500 megabyte hard drive would work so what I did was I took the old 500 megabyte hard drive I installed DOS 3 on that along with a tiny handful of games that will only work for DOS 3 things like uh, EVO, uh, the theory of evolution, which recently got a, uh, an English patch, I believe, and also Popful Mail. Those are the two major games that I can think of, or at least that I found, which will only work for uh, DOS 3. And then on the uh, larger hard drive, which is the one I have in the machine right now, I installed uh, DOS 6.2 and, uh, and, and 5 
and all the other games. This is the hard drive that I will be using going forward. Okay, so when I was searching around for games for the PC-98, I discovered that the various English groups had gone through the trouble of, uh, of compiling uh, hard drive images for the PC-98 with the uh, various games installed. I found three different uh, ones and then I took all the best games and tools from all of those and I made my own uh, hard drive image. I mean not a hard drive image, I mean I installed them on this machine uh, uh, using the CD drive because I don't really have a flash uh, hard drive for this machine. I'm using an actual old-fashioned IDE drive and the uh, easiest way for me to transfer files onto that hard drive was using the CD drive. Unfortunately, the CD drive that the machine comes with was not suitable because it cannot read CDRWs and I didn't want to burn a CDR for a, every time I wanted to co copy a file. So what I did was I took a um, an old IDE CD drive that I, uh, that I had somewhere and I just uh, hooked it up to this machine uh, to the uh, where the old drive would go uh, and then use, I used that and it would it just worked fine because these machines are basically I mean the PC9821s later on they were basically IBM PCs uh, so a lot of, some parts are interchangeable like the CD drive and the floppy drive uh, whereas other stuff like the uh, uh, input cards like uh, the graphic card and sound card and stuff like that those run on a proprietary PC-98 technology called the CPOS so you can't uh, you can't uh, take an IBM PC uh, card and, and use it in the PC-98. So anyway, after going through all the games uh, that I found on the various hard drives, I think I ended up uh, with a list of over a hundred games, maybe 120 or something like that. And I, I tested every single game, uh, like made notes to do what the genre was, uh, whether I liked it or not and stuff like that and whether it worked or not because there were a handful of games that, that, that I just could not get to work and I think most of those were related to uh, what was it there's a software tool that uh, that you have to use to run some games it's a kind of a boot manager uh, I think it's called HSP I'm not sure uh, anyway that software tool uh, is necessary for, to run some games and unfortunately it does not work on my machine I could not get it to work uh, there is no documentation on it it's all in Japanese so I couldn't really figure out how to uh, get it to work so a list of maybe 10 15 uh, games I, I cannot get those to run on my machine at least in a hard drive installed uh, manner because that tool just does not work. But of the remaining 80 to 100 games, uh, I found I I went through all those. I played them, and and I just kept the most interesting games to me personally. And this is the list here. As you can see, uh, there are not that many games here. Very few, in fact. Uh, I don't know how many there are. I think yeah, 24. It says yeah. So I ended up with a list of 24 uh, of the most interesting ones to me personally. Uh, actually, the Toho uh, the library has three games in it, so I guess you could say uh, 27. Yeah. And there are some notes about some of these games, like for example, uh, Wolfenstein 3D, which, which I just have on here for fun. I, I actually cannot play this game properly. I mean, I can, I can play it, but there will be no music, and the sound effects will be from the PC speaker, not, uh, not like uh, PCM sound effects. And the reason for that is that this game actually requires a, uh, a rather rare CBUS uh, 
Sound Blaster card that you can buy for the PC-98 in order for it to have music. Now, now there are some other uh, like Western uh, game uh, ports like Doom and Doom uh, 2, which uh, which are actually a bit more advanced ports. So these actually do uh, Doom 2 at least supports the uh, uh, the 980186 sound card. But for whatever reason, I found out that when I use the uh, 980186, uh, the uh, the expansion uh, sound card model of that, which is what most people would use, unless they have a machine that actually comes with it built in, uh, it will have sound glitches. And I thought it was my machine, but then I uh, talked with some people and I discovered, no, this is actually a known issue. But fortunately, uh, if I take the sound card out and I switch to the internal uh, FM module in my that is built into my machine because I have a can be and it, and it does actually come with an FM uh, uh, sound capability built in, that actually works perfectly with Doom 2. So Doom 2 is currently the only game that I have actually sat down and played to completion on my PC-98. Which is a bit ironic because I, I went through the trouble of importing this this Japanese only computer system uh, and then the first game I choose to play on it is a, is a Western game. <laughs> uh, but the thing about Doom 2 and Doom and Wolfenstein 3D is that th those are like perfect uh, conversions because uh, well the hardware of the PC-98 is, is so like an IBM PC that getting them to run perfectly on, on a PC-98 is really a no-brainer. So, yeah. So, I'm gonna have to say that I'm a bit disappointed over the uh, library, the quality of the, the quality of titles that are available for the uh, PC-98 library. Uh, I was hoping to find some a lot more interesting games for the PC-98 when I, when I went through the uh, long list of them. And that just was not the case. Uh, I mean, I started. I I really imported this game for this system for one game really, and that was a. Uh, uh, let me find it here. Where is Rusty? There it is. Yeah, that was the one big game that I knew of that, that I really wanted to play on this system. And after going through all those games, uh, what? I mean, it is still the most interesting game for this system. So I guess it is known for a reason, but I would not say that it is worth going through the trouble and the money of importing a PC-98 uh, just for Rusty alone. Of course, once you have it, as I have done, uh, once you obtain one, there are some other games that are uh, very very interesting, like Root Breaker. There, was a, there are a few shooters uh, for the system. Unfortunately, shooters are not my most favorite uh, of the genres, but you know, when there's nothing much else going on on this platform, uh, I, I guess you're just gonna have to gravitate towards the, uh, the next best thing. Uh, now, one thing I discovered with the uh, PC-98 library is that the uh, one of the most prolific, well-known uh, developers for the PC-98 that is going to be your friend uh, is Compile, actually. They have made a ton of games for the PC-98. I saw those uh, the Compile logo show up on so many times while going through those hundreds of games. Uh, maybe 25% so something like that uh, of the t of those titles were were just uh, compile games and in fact some of these uh, games that i have uh, chosen to keep here for example a uh, root breaker that is a compile game and the uh, flame zapper i think that's a compile game as well uh, there are two compile shooters here that that much i know uh, of course uh, so, so one of the platform's claim to fame is Toho. Uh, I ended up keeping three of those because of the, those were the ones that actually work on my uh, machine uh, that I could get to work. Uh, uh, let's see, what else do we have? Oh yeah, 
this machine has a comes uh, on one of those hard drive images I found a pretty good uh, PC88 emulator uh, and because the sound hardware in the uh, PC98 is actually uh, perfectly suited to uh, to reproduce the uh, the musical capabilities, I mean the FM capabilities of a PC88, the sound is going to be spot on and the uh, PC88 was uh, a simple enough machine uh, that it can be emulated fairly well on, uh, on my uh, PC98 machine here. So anyway, let's take a look at the... Let's just launch a few games and just have a look. Uh, start with the coup de car here. Oh, wait. There we go. So we got the classic here, uh, Rusty, which is absolutely my favorite uh, game for this platform because the Castlevania series is my favorite of the old-fashioned, uh, I mean old-school uh, game series and just overall uh, one of my favorite series ever Now I've seen that intro with a uh, fully voiced uh, I mean, I've seen that intro fully voiced, and I don't, but mine is not, uh, so I'm not really sure what's going on there. Uh. I mean, if you compare this game to, like, something like Castlevania, especially the 16-bit Castlevanias, which this should be compared to, I mean, it does look a little bit... Well, it looks really rough, like in terms of graphics and uh, just overall. But it is, I mean, as far as the PC ninety eight platform is concerned, this is a uh, this is very well. Uh, this is a very well made game. Now, unfortunately, uh, one of the biggest uh, one of the biggest genres on the PC ninety eight is actually the. Uh, visual novels, a lot of really well-made visual novels, but really absolutely stunning uh, pixel art were, which I, I unfortunately cannot enjoy because my Japanese, uh, and, uh, my, my knowledge of Japanese, especially written Japanese, is, is very limited. Uh, so unless some kind soul is going to do uh, English translation of those, and I know there are some people who are doing that right now, uh, I'm not going to be able to uh, enjoy those. So let's take a look at uh, Root Breaker here, which is the, uh, the premier compile shooter for this system. It's a very well made game. I, I, I tested it out like briefly. Uh, it, uh, it it kind of reminds me of uh, like PC Engine shooters, uh, Star Soldier series and stuff like that. So that's a very good uh, that's a very good start, I think. Uh, and of course, it's got all the trade uh, of the. Uh, Classical uh, compile shooter traits. Uh. And all these games like have very, very good uh, FM soundtracks. Unfortunately, the, uh, the volume is very low right now. But you know, you have to experience it in person to, uh, to be able to appreciate it fully anyway. And yeah, nothing too special, I guess. Uh, just a uh, classic shooter. What else do we have? Yeah, there is a version of Alone in the Alone in the Dark, 
unfortunately it's all in Japanese so I just kept it for fun uh, you know what? I don't even remember what most of these are it's been too uh, long ah Garudius and Chemesis are kind of a uh, one of those is a is a port of Gradius and the other one I think it's kind of a uh, a game made in the style but but it's not a port it's a uh, let, let's try it out I don't quite remember they're actually very high quality uh, Yeah, I think this one is actually the port of Nemesis, uh, and the other one is the new game. I don't know if it's uh, maybe it's a port of the MSX version uh, that was made for the X68000. I'm not sure. Like, uh, I do not. Believe, I mean, yeah, obviously, this is not an official product because uh, they would have just called it Nemesis uh, and uh, Gradius instead of Garudius. Uh, but it's very well made, uh, whoever, uh, whoever is responsible for this. I think it's a Dojin. Uh, Now that boot manager that I was talking about actually does work partially and uh, it is responsible right now for uh, cutting the reboot uh, time in, uh, in half because the machine actually, I think it's soft rebooting when I'm, uh, when I press the uh, CTR alt delete combo on the PC98 whereas before it would go back to the boot screen and uh, and it would take a lot longer. Let's try the PC98 uh, emulation here. Uh, let's see. Uh, obviously, we are going to have to try the scene, which is the premier game for the PC88. As you can see, uh, it actually supports both more uh, both soundtracks of the Sheem uh, because the uh, PC ninety eight or one eighty six sound card actually is fully capable of uh, replaying both of those. See the joystick is not functional right now. Yeah, as you can see, it's running a little bit too fast right now. You can actually adjust the uh, the speed of the game uh, using a menu. So, you know. It's not exactly like playing on the hardware because you have to worry about stuff like that and, and I really do not have any reference points. Uh, hmm. I can't figure out how to shoot off the, uh, the little balls. Hmm. Anyway, that's enough of that. So you know, if, uh, if you are kind of curious about the PC-88 library, the PC ninety uh, eight is a uh, is a good way to uh, kind of dabble in it a little bit. There is Steam Hearts as well. Unfortunately, it has a, a couple of graphical issues. Yeah, I would call them minor. Uh, let's try. It. Which is you know, I'm. Um, yeah, as you can see, uh, it's not actually supposed to do this, where uh, like the uh, dialog box takes up the entire screen. It only happens when there is dialog uh, on the screen. When the uh, 
when they stop that blabbering and the gameplay actually starts, the game will be completely normal. Uh, yeah. Uh, Steam Hearts is a, it's a kind of a. Uh, unfortunately, uh, the dialogue boxes tend to show up once in a while while the gameplay is actually running. So you can actually trick you uh, and make the game unplayable later. I don't know. I haven't really gotten that far in the game. I just tested it out. Uh, this is a, uh, you know, an average shooter that is uh, famous for its. Uh, hentai scenes that you get uh, every time you beat a boss which are actually quite explicit on the PC-98 version uh, there are also versions for the uh, PC Engine and the uh, Saturn which are less explicit so if you want the most raunchy version of uh, of this game the PC-98 is your uh, go-to platform so what else do we have? Well, let's 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 just try out Doom. I mean, it's Doom. You can get it for pretty much anything. But this is one of the uh, the best ports of the uh, of the original Doom because it's pretty much just the DOS version. Exactly. Sounds the same. No, it doesn't actually sound the same. The music sounds different. But I guess you could make it sound 100% like a DOS machine, uh, like the uh, IBM uh, PC version, if you buy that really rare and hard to find, uh, what's it called, uh, Sound Blaster version for the PC-98. I kind of looked at it a little bit. Because actually, Doom is one of the few IBM PC games that I actually do enjoy. Uh, but I don't really want to play it on a PC because I don't I don't like IBM PCs, uh, and since there are a, there is a uh, perfect version of it uh, here for the PC ninety eight, I wouldn't mind uh, getting a sound blaster just for this, and you know maybe Wolfenstein, God knows what else there could be. Uh, I don't think there are that many other uh, DOS. Uh. Let's try this Gerudius. Uh, Quickly, yeah. As you can see, it's made by the same people as the uh, chemists. Yeah, this is definitely. I do not recognize what this is based on. Whether this is a port, it just say Gerodius ninety five. I don't really. I don't know whether this is actually based a port. A pixel perfect port of uh, of a Gradius game, or it's just something new. It, it kind of reminds me of uh, Nemesis ninety two Kai for the PC ninety eight. I mean for the X sixty eight thousand, which is a kind of a enhanced, very much enhanced port of uh, of that. MSX exclusive uh, Nemesis, or is it Gradius uh, game? So yeah, this is actually a pretty cool game. Uh, but rare is a day where I'm in the mood for a P for a shooter. Action platformers are my favorite. Uh, genre and I have not been able to find many good ones for the PC-98 unfortunately now I do not remember what most of these other ones are actually are maybe we can try one of the uh, one of these uh, Toho games here uh, Now these games are for whatever reason very popular uh, among a very niche sec se uh, section of gamers uh, and 
this series is actually the uh, the PC-98. Uh, the reason why a lot of people get into the PC-98, uh, they are a kind of uh, bullet cell shooter. They are Dojin software games, so the graphics is not exactly the best. But the gameplay is actually pretty okay. Uh, and the music is fantastic. Uh, They usually start off kind of slow, but then the difficulty and the number of bullets on the screen will uh, ramp out, uh, ramp up uh, pretty quickly. And that's all we need to see of that, I think. Uh, now let's try some of the games that I actually do not remember what are. Like for example, this Yuga Kita. I don't remember what the hell this is. Starting to ring a bell. When I first saw this, uh, I thought that maybe it was a uh, visual novel, but if I remember correctly, it's not actually. This is just a just a prologue that actually looks like that it is. It seems to be fully translated. Uh, you know, maybe this is actually a uh, a visual novel, actually. Although I haven't really been allowed to make any choices yet. Yeah, okay. This is a visual novel. Okay. I think I just kept it because it was the only one I found that was actually in English and I thought I would try it out at some point. BD Plus. Was this another shooter? Let's see. Yeah, this certainly looks like a, a shooter. Hmm, which I can't control for whatever reason. Anyway, yeah, this looks actually, this looks kind of cool. Kind of reminds me of, uh, what's it called, Raiden. Yeah, so you can see uh, the way you start off uh, over the ocean and then you go, in, yeah. There were actually a ton of shooters that I found, but most of them were kind of uh, really janky looking uh, doujin shooters. And, you know, since shooters are not my favorite genre to begin with, uh, I'm not gonna be interested in one that is like bottom of the barrel. Okay, here's another game by that. Uh, by whoever it is that made those uh, Gradius ports. As you can see, the games made by this developer is are actually very high quality. Uh, and once again, another shooter. I don't think I'll ever play all of these uh, I already have so many shooters for uh, for various other platforms. I have a ton of them for the PC engine. Uh, actually, the, uh, the shooters for the PC engine I do play. Uh, it's 
especially the Soldier series and uh, PC Dungeon. Those are my favorite shooters of all time. But these ones for the PC 98, I mean, they look cool, but compared to like the highest quality shooters that I have unplayed somewhere else for other platforms, uh, they just cannot measure up. So I think this is another shooter, isn't it? Oh no, this is kind of a. Yeah, this this thing reminds me of uh, Star Fox actually. I don't remember whether yeah, kind of a three D shooter with uh, Star Fox like graphics. Yeah, it was something a little bit different, so I thought uh, why not give it a go. Uh, I like these shooters where you where you are behind the ship. Kind of reminds me a little bit of uh, you know, games like Panzer Dragoon, stuff like that. Okay, so I can't really play this game right now because this is a, a mouse game, and I don't really have the mouse hooked up right now. There are a couple of games that I kept which are uh, which require a mouse to be played yeah here's a game with some random nudity on the uh, start screen but once you start the game you'll discover that it's just a uh, just another shooter I don't remember why I chose to keep, keep this game specifically. I guess it kind of looks a little bit interesting, but yeah. It's one of those that I, I doubt I'll ever play this game, like properly sit down and play it. But yeah, among the shooters that I did test for this platform, this was one of the more high quality ones. Uh, uh, it's got a nice soundtrack and the graphics aren't that terrible. Yeah, so I think I'm gonna end it short here. The video is already too long. Uh, so yeah, my, uh, my conclusion here would be that the PC-98 platform is certainly not the best PC, Japanese PC platform to, uh, to acquire. I would certainly not recommend it as your first. I would say uh, something like the X68000 is a much better choice uh, by like light years. Uh, and even after that I would recommend something like the MSX or a PC-98, I mean uh, the FM Towns over the PC-98. Uh, but uh, as long as you temper your uh, your expectations, I guess it's, it's fine enough for what it is. Uh, I'm certainly not regretting that I bought it. Uh, I'm just a little bit disappointed, uh, disappointed over the, uh, the lack of uh, quality titles. Who knows, maybe uh, when uh, more of those visual novels uh, get translated into English. I will. Uh, this platform will like redeem itself a little bit because uh, there are certainly a lot of those types of games for the PC ninety eight, uh, which I think would be worth playing for uh, just for the pixel art alone. Uh, so yeah, that's it. For now guys, see you around.